What's up everybody, Coach Joe here, BFP. Um, wanted to meet you at the bar to talk a little bit about hand placement on your back squat. This is something that a lot of people come in here and they're just ready to get after it and they don't think a whole lot about their hand placement before they ever come underneath the bar. Hand placement is where a good lift starts when it comes to the back squat. So if you don't place your hands in the right place, you're a lot more likely to have your body offset as compared to your hands. And oftentimes that can lead to an uneven load as you're squatting, because you might have the bar shoved to one side further than the other. And especially with folks coming in that have shoulder issues or might have some imbalances from left to right. So it's important to consider your hand placement when we're talking about the back squat. So for me, I like to use the snatch grip marks that are on the bar as my landmarks. A lot most bars have these, you can use them. Um, but you can, you can determine where you want to put your hands based on the width of the squat rack as well. But the key here is determine a, a, a grip position that's comfortable for you and that you can have a landmark that you can choose so that you can hit this consistently every single time and eventually you don't have to think about it and you know that the beginning of your setup is always going to be correct. So you can go narrow hand, you can go wide hand depending on how we're able to position your hands. So for me, I come all the way out ring finger on the snatch grip mark. Sometimes I have to go wider depending on how loose my shoulders are, but I get those hands set first, then I place my eyes dead center on that barbell, push it in the rig, and then I'm gonna drive myself underneath to get it set where I want it on my back. Stand up, take my one, two step back, big breath, squeeze tight and now I'm ready to drop down into that squat. When I place it back in the rig, I run into the rig and drop it down. But the focus today is that hand placement. So some people are good to go to have their hands right here. Some people need to go out wider. It really just depends on where your shoulders are. But what we're trying to avoid is any place on your body during a heavy squat where you can lose or leak tension because that's going to increase the likelihood that your posture might shift, the barbell might move on your back, all things that make the squat more dangerous or increase the risk of it or potentially um, lead to you having to bail on a lift uh, or potentially injuring yourself. So make sure that hand placement is consistent. Every single time that you squat, you can wrap your thumbs around the bar if you have to, or if you're like me, I go thumbs on top of the bar because then I can keep my wrist straight and my elbows out from underneath the bar. So what I wanted to show you was what we're trying to avoid. So wherever you put your hands, we don't want to squat like this, ideally. Because most people, when they squat like this, that bar can then move on their back as their posture shifts as they go down. We do not want that because anytime that bar moves at all when you're lifting it, it changes the way that lift uh, affects your body essentially significantly, even a, a minute little change of that bar moving because it changes the way that that load is now in relation to the center of gravity with your body. We don't want that. We want to keep that consistent. We want to maintain this bar within our center of mass. So get your hand placement consistent every single time so that you can get that bar dead center with your neck and head and get a good clamp on that barbell so that it cannot move. So that's this week's Monday. Meet me at the bar. If you got any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments below.